Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers. Uh, you might not be aware, but if you have a Crystal Shard version 2.5 sound card, it actually has the capacity for six sound fonts. Now, uh, the Crystal Shard 2.5 is the sound card of choice for my stock Ascend Sabers or Bad Axe Sabers, and I sell them. They come equipped with three sound fonts ready to go. But this video, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and add three more sound fonts for a total of six. So what you do is you go to the only spot for uh, Saber Sounds. You go to saberfont.com. You go up here to Saber Fonts and you will have, you know, this is going to be the part that takes the longest, is you're going to have a choice of a whole lot of sound fonts. Um, but let's just say you want to you check a sound font out, you want to maybe get uh, the details here, and click a preview, you can hear what it sounds like. So if you click a sound font, and you then you add to cart, you purchase it, you download, you'll get the zipped file that then you can extract and use those those files in your sound files in your lightsaber. So I'm going to minimize this window. So let's say you've already done that. You've got a, a folder um, of lightsaber sound fonts that you've downloaded. I want to go to my desktop and I want to right click and I want to go to new folder. And let's just call this lightsaber sound. So now you have a new folder called lightsaber sound and this is where we're going to play. This is where we're going to put all our stuff in here. So if you want to go to your uh, your purchased sound fonts and you want to hit extract or extract all and then use this as the destination then your sound fonts will go in here um, you might want to uh, click put on a, a new uh, a new folder and, and make it today's date for us to work in but what I'm gonna do for today is I'm gonna show you let's see where is it here I think it's this one yes so if you purchased an ascend from me this is exactly what your SD card is gonna look like it's gonna have these uh, these sound fonts on here. So I'm gonna actually just capture it all. You can hit Control A or or drag a box over it like I did. I'm gonna hit right click and I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna go to my newly created lightsaber sound folder that's on your desktop. Right click again. New. I'm gonna do a folder. Now you could make it today's date or I'm just gonna call it test package just for today. Open that up and now I'm gonna right click again and I'm going to click paste. And what's going to happen is it's going to load in everything. There's a copy now of everything that's on my Ascend lightsaber with the Crystal Shard 2.5 sound card. Um, but you notice there's bank one, bank two, bank three. Well, we are actually going to drag a box over these, right click, copy, right click again, paste. And now you can see I've got a copy of those things. But now I have a total of six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename them. I'll go. So what I do is I click, and then I click again, and now I can actually call it whatever I want. So I'm going to back up here, and I'm going to call this one. We've got. We've already got bank one, two, and three. So let's rename bank one as bank four, and do the same thing. Two clicks on two slow clicks. Bank two, bank two copy becomes bank five, and then go to two clicks on bank three copy and bank three copy becomes bank six. There we go. Now I could load this. I could format the SD card on my lightsaber. I could load this and it would function. It would just mean that I would have the same three fonts duplicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave bank one, bank two, bank three, and we are going to alter bank four, bank five, and bank six. So let's, uh, we'll just do bank four to start with. So we're going to open that up. Now again, those are the same sound files that you had. Now this is a Crystal Focus 7 optimized sound font. So you've got 16 clashes, 16 swings, which is, they're utilized, those sounds are utilized by the Crystal Shard version 2.5. These sounds here, the spin sounds, they're not utilized by the Crystal Shard. They are utilized by the Crystal Focus version 7. So you've got sounds in here that you don't necessarily need, but that doesn't matter. It just won't play those, so it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the sound that you've already extracted. So let's say you want Fates for Crystal Focus version 7. You've downloaded this font and here's all your stuff. So you just click anywhere in here and go Control A or you can drag a box over it. Now you've got them all highlighted. I'm going to right click on anywhere in here in the blue and I get copy. Not, I don't want cut. I want to leave these files here. 
copy. I'm going to minimize this window and go back over to, remember this is sound bank 4, I'm going to back up just for a second to show you. Remember we renamed 4, 5, and 6, so bank 4. I want to right click anywhere in here and I want to click paste. Now it'll say do I want to replace the files or skip the files. I want to replace everything, everything that I have with the new stuff. And you'll notice now it's replaced everything in the blue, but my config text file is still there. It's got a new README file, but it, it keeps the old config text, so it keeps the all settings and the sensitivity of your Saber, but it just adds in the new sound fonts. And you can do that, I'm going to back out, you can do that same thing with Bank 5 and Bank 6, so you can load Fates on here and Revenge on here and whatever, uh, you know, whatever sound font uh, Rogue on Bank 6. Or, or whatever sound font you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you one more thing that's going to make this a little easier because with six sound fonts you'll hit the button and you'll just get a beep and you won't necessarily know what sound font you're on. So let's go way back, let's assume you've added you're in, you're in your new sound fonts, you've got six different ones now. Let's go back to bank one. I'm going to show you something here. When you click through and hold the button down and it goes to your new sound font, you, it plays the boot sound. Now here's a trick that you can do with Crystal Focus version 7 sound fonts. There's another sound in here called font.wave. That's where you hear a voice saying the name of the font, revenge, or whatever it is. So here's a little trick you can do. If, if you've already got these saved somewhere, you don't, it doesn't matter if you do this. You can click on the boot.wave sound and hit delete. Zoop, gone. Then you go over to your font.wave, and remember we want to click that once, click it twice. Now I can change the name of it. So let's change the name of it to boot. Enter. So now the boot dot sound, here's what, here's what it sounds like when I play that. That's not going to play. You probably won't hear it because I got my speakers turned off. Um, but it plays the name of that sound font now. So now when you're going through your six sound fonts on your Crystal Shard 2.5, every time you select one, instead of playing a boot sound, it'll play the name. So you'll know, oh, that's the sound font I'm in right now. It may not be your preference. You may like to hear the boot sound, but that's just one way you can keep track of the six sound fonts on your Crystal Shard version 2.5. So thanks again for watching.